Hey fam, welcome back to another video on Ibby Inspired. Thank you so much for joining us today. As you guys can tell by today's title, today we're going to be doing makeup do's and don'ts for pitted acne scar skin. Y'all, I have been wanting to do this video for the longest, longest time because I honestly feel like some of the tips and tricks that you will be getting in today's video is one of the reasons why I always get compliments on my flawless finish makeup skin. Yes, and I go like that because obviously you guys know that I suffer from deep pitted acne scars, but when I go out in public, I always get compliments on my skin and my makeup. And obviously, I am doing something right when it comes to the do's. So as you guys can see, this side is the do's and this side is the don'ts. And I will be showing you guys all the things that I do so that you don't get this. Put it acne scars and so that you can get this. Nice, beautiful, flawless finish. All right, fam. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I do want to make a disclaimer that even though we are using the terms do's and don'ts for makeup, I do want to say that there really is no such thing as don'ts. At It Be Inspired, we believe in creativity and originality and doing whatever makes you happy with your makeup and your makeup look. Okay, so today my right side, your left side is going to be our don'ts and my left side and your right side will be our do's. So we're going to go ahead and start with our don'ts. I am going to be using this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Now y'all, this used to be one of my most favorite products ever. I truly used to love it so much and that's because it made my skin look so illuminating and shiny and dewy and oop y'all that is not what we need for pitted acne scarred skin. I know dewy makeup is in and people love that look but if you want to reduce the look of your acne scars I do not recommend oil. As you can see, it is making my skin look pretty moisturized, pretty nice, illuminating as it says, but it is bringing out all of my pitted acne scars. Now fam, for our do's, today we're going to be using this Inkyless Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And it is just really good for pitted acne scarred skin. Y'all, I'm looking up the benefits right now. It helps with stretch marks and it reduces skin wrinkles and line that is definitely ding 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 a highlight product that you want to use when you hear the words wrinkles and lines that means that the product is going to help produce collagen which is great for pitted acne scarred skin on top of all of that it is just so moisturizing and it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily like this illuminator. So to finish off the base for our dues, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I'm just going to finish moisturizing our face. And I really, really love this so much. It smells so good. It has so many great vitamins in this moisturizer and it just helps my makeup to glide so much. And once again, it is giving me more of a moisturized feel rather than an oily feel on my face. That is one thing that you must remember is that there is a difference between being moisturized and being oily. Now it is time to get down to the nitty gritty. Y'all already know I say this all the time. A primer, 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 primer. A primer, primer, primer. Primer is going to be so important. It is going to be the make or the break for your pitted acne scars, period. That's just what it is, okay? So for our don'ts, today we're going to be using the ELF Luminous Putty Primer. Yeah, 
yeah i know i know i know guys everyone talks about this putty primer and how it helps your makeup stay on and how it's so good and y'all for me personally a person with pitted acne scarred skin this is not the primer to use so first thing is that this is a luminous primer so i don't know if you guys have already noticed here but there is a pattern with all of this anything that's luminous anything that's shiny anything that's oily you do not want to use that for your pitted acne scarred skin this primer is giving very much wizard of oz tin man yes i understand luminous can be a good word but not for pitted acne scarred skin y'all that's just not how it's going to work and as you can see the lumen the luminosity is that a word i don't know but the luminosity it is really just making my acne scars show shine through really expose itself really show off for my dudes for my fam that has been here since day one you guys already know today i am using the tarte timeless smoothing primer man y'all when i say this primer has just freaking changed my life and i am literally i think i just put some of this luminous primer on the dues a little bit but we're gonna we're gonna make it work as you can see it is going on my face nice and matte now don't get me wrong it is showing a white cast but that is absolutely okay because we're going to be putting makeup on over it so i know that some of the fam commented and said that they bought this primer and it did not blend in with their makeup you guys make sure that before you put on this primer you have a nice moisturized face okay you cannot have a dry face when you put on this primer and that's why i always say your base for your face is so important and that also includes your moisturizer so now it is time for foundation for today's foundation on our don'ts we're going to be using the mac studio face and body foundation so we're going to be using this foundation because this foundation is not matte at all this is a very dewy foundation this is a very glowy foundation and this foundation is very light coverage i mean it is buildable but all in all it is a very very light coverage we're still able to see that hyperpigmentation on my skin you're still able to see the texture and the pits on my skin the glow is nice but but honestly i rather have my pitted acne scars not showing in matte than for my pitted acne scars to show and glow why do i always like city girls here i am i'm ready to be your third city girl <laughs> and y'all already know the spokesperson of the show is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless Woo! this is the star of the show this foundation is just so beautiful it's so good i literally think that the person who created this foundation had pitted acne scars for one it's called matte and portless like hello so once again y'all that is like the biggest key factor to do's and don'ts so i did not even blend it out all the way yet but i did want to show you guys how nice this looks it is just perfection to me and don't get me wrong y'all people with pitted acne scars there is a way that you can make your skin look nice and luminous and glowy if you guys want to know leave your comments down below i can definitely show you guys how to do that my dues giving nice and flawless you can't even really see any texture at all it makes me so excited this is why i love makeup because it's like what what kind of sorcery is this and then you look on this side and it is giving you a glow the mixture of your own oils and the mixture of these oils it is going to eventually start showing your acne scars all right so for concealer i am using the pretty vulgar concealer in undercover shady lady and you guys guessed it this concealer is very luminous 
it is not full coverage with my acne scars and I'm about to cry right now because honestly like I want this side to look so good but then I keep on remembering that this is supposed to be don'ts but I'm just like this doesn't even feel right so another thing that I forgot to mention fam is that with an oily base on your skin your makeup is going to tend to slip and slide and go wherever it wants think about oil right so y'all see my hand right so once again i'm putting on this wonder glow ahead um illuminating face oil think about the sliding that it does on your skin if it's gonna slide on your skin slip and slide on your skin on your body of course it's going to make your makeup slide your makeup is not gonna stay where it needs to stay okay now what we are gonna do for our dues is we're going to use the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer this concealer as you can see look at that pigment freaking pay off we need something that is going to cover that hyperpigmentation within our pitted acne scars because some of us are lucky and we have just the pitted acne scars we don't have the actual hyperpigmentation but some people such as myself i have the hyperpigmentation within my acne scars and when you have that that just emphasizes the pitted acne scars that you have so you want to make sure that you can get it nice and covered and look like what so as you can see there is a big difference between the do's and the don'ts now don't get me wrong because we have textured skin you can still see some textured skin and that is just the harsh reality of it all texture is going to be texture but the whole idea is to make sure that you can reduce the look of your textured skin to the point where some people won't even realize that you have pitted acne scarred skin. So the next thing for our don'ts, this is something that a lot of us with pitted acne scars tend to do and it just, it, it just shouldn't be done. We use highlight on our cheeks. So as you can see, you probably thought that the pitted acne scars looked bad before with just my oily primer and oily base. Do you see, I can't stress this enough, is that when you are putting on anything shiny on your pitted acne scars, your acne scars, they're going to love it. They're here for the show. They're going to show off. And that's not what we want. What I will say you can do is when you are putting on highlight, what I like to do is I like to put it on the areas that I don't have my acne scars. A lot of us have our pitted acne scars on our cheeks or on our chin. If you're going to put on highlight, if you're like, hey, look, I like highlight and there is nothing that you can do to stop me even though I have pitted acne scarred skin, oh, go ahead and do you. Go ahead and do you but if you don't want your pitted acne scars to show try to prevent those areas so now i'm going to put on some setting powder i am actually going to be using the same setting powder for do's and the don'ts so i am using the too faced born this way setting powder i actually got this from amazon because they discontinued the medium tone on their site so i used to just set specifically below my eyes and that's because I was just trying to prevent the creases. And for my dues side, what you should do is you need to set below the eyes and also the cheeks. Everywhere that you have placed your concealer. Because what you're going to do is even though you have a nice matte concealer such as that Laura Mercier flawless fusion concealer eventually what it does is it starts getting oily too and that's because the concealer is at the end of the day it's still a cream and it's going to start mixing in with your natural oils so you want to make sure that you are setting all the parts of your concealer so i just do this whole thing so now we are going to go ahead and contour the face so one thing you do not want to do 
is contour on your acne scars. Make sure you try your best not to contour on your acne scars and if you do find that your acne scars are along your contour areas really try to avoid those areas or put on very light product around there so one thing i notice is that it's not only highlight that really shows your pitted acne scars but darker shadows also show your acne scars as you can see, I am blending out a little bit lighter. I am not as heavy handed on this side. I don't want any of my acne scars or texture to really show through, but at the same time, I want you to be able to see the contour. So we're doing a nice light hand. So now we're going to go in with our blush. I'm gonna go back in with the Saharan blush palette. I used the Zara highlight earlier for my highlight. And I am now going to go in with Neo and I am going to put that on my cheek. So if you guys came from how to make pitted acne scars disappear, you probably noticed that I mentioned that Neo and Abby were two blushes that were good for pitted acne scars and i will be doing an updated video on that i do want to mention that as i have been learning makeup over the past couple of years i learned that these shades are actually shades that will make your acne scars show if you wear too much it also increases the look of your pitted acne scars so you can use a dark shade but don't go so heavy-handed for me i like to use more of a orangey or a brighter shade now so i am using toby in the same exact palette and as you can see i'm going more lighter and even if i go as heavy as i did with neo it won't be as bad for my acne scars and for our don'ts i am going to be taking this max studio fix powder and nw48 and i'm just going to set under our eyes I'm just once again setting where my creases are you do not want to only set where the creases are make sure you set your whole entire face so this is a great powder to keep your face nice matte but also it covers any extra hyperpigmentation that you may have so this is what my face is looking like now i'm going to be right back i'm going to do my eyes and i will show you guys the full look when i come back all right fam so we are back as you can see i did my eyes and my lips i did not do a do's and don'ts for my eyes or my lips because i wanted to be pretty neutral there i wanted you guys to see a full realistic picture of what don'ts actually looks like with good eyes and good lips if that makes sense so i decided to keep everything the same there as well as my eyebrows obviously one thing i did not do on camera for my face that i forgot to show you guys was my bronzer today i'm using the mocha mommy sun kissed stalker from fenty beauty this is the best bronzer that one can have i love it so much and i've been using it for years at this point the bronzer is going to work just like the contour you're only making sure that you are bronzing on top of that contour and you're not bronzing on top of your acne scars so we're starting with the dews because we're gonna take that same brush and we're gonna go in with the don'ts. And I am going to be, again, going over our contour and I should not be dipping it back in the product and I'm gonna break out. But of course, the things I do for love, for loving you guys. So now that we are all done, here are the do's. And here are our don'ts. So 
So fam, I hope this video helped you today to learn what to do and what not to do with pitted acne scarred skin. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you guys can do whatever you want with your makeup, whatever that makes you happy. But today's video was based on the reduction of pitted acne scarred skin. Now before I end this video, I do want to mention that if you guys like this video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our other channel, Ibby Inspired TV, to see lifestyle videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, fam. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!